I'll stop that. There we go. All right, so what you can do, so if you got your scratch project here, right? And this is kind of cool. Uh, it's working really great. What you can do is you can go ahead and add another sprite. I'm actually gonna add two sprites real quick. I'm gonna add this button. And then I'm also gonna add the other button, which is kind of neat. Um, no, I'm gonna grab this one right here and that button. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these two buttons work as buttons to control how my GIF works. All right, and I'll pull up the chat. So if you guys have questions, put chip questions in the chat. So anyway, I got these two buttons and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, add uh, a little code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this apart and I'm gonna say, when the flag is clicked, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the show and hide. So I want my GIF to hide and then I want it to show up after an event happens. The buttons are not required, but it is kind of a cool thing to make it uh, work. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll show you that what you can do is actually make this work on your phone, which is, this is just kind of a cool way to make it work on your phone. So what you can do is I've got this right here and then I'm gonna go to this button. I want this button, this blue button. I'm going to go ahead and actually change it to this costume because I like that. Um, what I want it to do when the green flag is clicked, um, I want this button to show up. And then when I'm going to need the hide in a minute, and then I'm going to need the show again after an, a little bit. And I'll show you guys what those are in just a second or how those work. So what I want to happen, I want when the green flag is clicked, the button shows up. And then when this sprite is clicked, I'm gonna grab that. I want that to hide. And then I want it to broadcast a message. Now what messages are, they are a way, oops, there we go. Um, they are a way for the sprites to be able to talk to each other. So if we are going with that analogy that we were working before, when Hamilton in the Broadway play says one thing and then Aaron Burr is supposed to say another thing, this will help those two sprites know when they're when it's their turn to do their thing. So um, so what we're gonna do is press when broadcast or when it, it's gonna broadcast start, sorry. And then what I want it to do is when this sprite receives start, it will show up. So if we click the green flag, right? Um, and the green button isn't quite working yet. So when we click the green flag, we have that, um, this is supposed to hide. And then when we click this sprite, that sprite hides and the GIF starts playing, which is kind of neat. So that's kind of working. And then when, what I want to happen next is that when this GIF, so when this button, the stop button, this is eventually gonna be the stop button. I'm gonna just go ahead real quick and change this color just a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna click and I want to use that fill and I want it to fill like a radius and I want this to be right there. Um, I want it to be a lot lighter. There we go. And I'm gonna grab, nope, that's not what I want. Darn it. There we go. And then this one right here. Uh, no. Anyway, you get the kind of point. Uh, there we go. And then I want it to fill the radius right there. And then the paint bucket. Uh, I'm going to kind of do that right there. And then I'll do the same with this right here. There we go. So not quite like how I want it, but it'll work good enough. So um, so what we can do with this button, we're gonna grab those same uh, kind of blocks. So we're gonna say the show and the hide. So when this, we want it to hide and then we want it to show and then we want it to hide again. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead when it receives start, uh, we want it to show up. And then when it's clicked, 
when the sprite is clicked, we want it to hide. And then we want it to broadcast a new message and that message is going to be stop. There we go. So we click that. And then we also want it to right over here. So when this, we're gonna to have to program this part. So when it receives stop, we want this one to hide again. And then actually like to kind of make things work a little bit better, what I wanted to do is grab this stop all button and I'm gonna make it say stop other scripts in the sprite. All right, so then it kind of stops the, the repeating. Uh, so then if we click the flag and we see this work, we click the this, it works right there. It starts the GIF and then you press this and it stops it. And last but not least, I want to add one more block and that's this block right here. So when I receive stop, I want this button to show up. So there we go, it works. And then it shows back up. So then it kind of starts back over again. Last but not least, um, we're gonna go ahead and share this. I'm gonna call this one uh, button uh, gif project. I'm going to say click the flag or click the button to watch the show. Okay, notes and credits. I got this code from my teacher. And then it's all ready to go. So you can either do a couple of things. Like one, you can email this link to yourself or like if you're using Apple like me, what you can do is just go up to share, file, share, and then you can airdrop, which is kind of convenient. And then when it comes up, I need to turn on my phone. When it comes up, you can click this and it will show up on your phone. How cool is that? So, and then that, that project, if you click it, it will actually work on your phone and then you can press the buttons and you've got buttons that work on your phone. Now that is kind of cool in my opinion.